Hello, welcome to Spitfire Mods. Today we're going to show you how to use our handheld repair unit along with our control arm and digital monitor. Um, this is going to be used to repair an Xbox board. Uh, the same process would be used to repair a PS3 board. First thing uh, would be to clean up your board. Remove your board, clean it up, get your flux out, and apply your flux to all four sides of the chip, this uh, GPU chip. Put a couple drops, one or two drops. Um, you you know make sure you got a nice flow underneath the chip, not too much, but enough to um, hit all the contacts. Do it to each side, um, tilting your board each time so that the flux runs under the chip. Use a dry paper towel to, to clean up any excess flux. Then uh, cut your. You should have received 12 inches of aluminum tape. Cut your tape into four pieces. Two shorter ones go down first, followed by the two longer ones, so that your GPU is completely boxed out as such so that um, the rest of the board is not receiving too much heat. Now we're going to turn on our thermal probe, uh, tape the probe so that it's resting right on top of the GPU so that we can monitor the process. And then position your unit for preheating. Uh, there's two steps to this repair. There's the preheat step followed by the final step. Uh, you should have received, received an email with directions on the distance and the duration of each step uh, by email when you purchase the unit. So we're going to turn on our chip, our uh, reflow unit to preheat the chip. You're going to want to run that for the duration uh, you received in the email on how long to run that to achieve the preheating temperature. And then once that reaches preheat temperature, you're going to want to adjust it to reach the reflow temperature. Um, Basically, you would be bringing the arm closer to where the reflow temperature is. And then following your emailed instructions, once you've done your preheat and your reflow, uh, you can shut the unit off and put it aside. And then after five or ten minutes, about ten minutes, the board should be cooled enough so that you can remove your tape and reinstall it back into the unit.